Hi, it's time for If Kate Can Do It, You Can Do It Crafts. And today we are going to be making a charming gnome. And here is our charming gnome, Kathy. Oh, he's kind of oh, he flying is around quite there. Charming. Yes, Miss Kelly made the charming gnome for us. And she says that in our kit we have one paper plate hat pattern with holes, one pom pom, a piece of twine, and 12 to 14 pieces of eight inch yarn, and two glue dots. And what we will need is scissors. And guess what, Kathy? I don't have any scissors. But your stuff is already cut, isn't well, it? Well, not entirely, but I think my friends at home will understand that they should use children's scissors and I'll show them exactly what they're supposed to do with their scissors and I think we'll be fine because it's pretty self-explanatory. I could run and get you some. Well, let's see what you think at, when we get to that part. And if you still think we need scissors, we'll stop and get them then. Okay. Okay. That sounds like an By idea. the way, I like Leanne's phrase. Oh, gnome I'm, sweet gnome. Gnome sweet gnome. Yes. Well, that's what we're going to have is a gnome sweet gnome when we're done. So sure enough, in our kit, we have the paper plate Oh, template. it's all traced. It's all traced. And if I had scissors, I would cut that. De -de 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 -de. <laughs> okay. But I don't. All right. So, do you think that's okay? We I just pretend. The kids will figure out. Okay. And then what we're going to do with the holes in the bottom after you cut it out is you fold the yarn in half and you feed the yarn through the hole and then. Put the two ends through the loop in the yarn and pull it, and that is going to form the beard. Oh. And you're going to go all the way across doing that. And look, here's one that's already cut out, and we're going to finish doing this one. You want to show, yes, why don't you okay. show putting the yarn through again, because that's probably yes. the only part that's a little tiny bit right. tricky. So, sure enough, so you, you, make, fold, it you in, fold it in half uh -huh. and make a little loop. Yep. And then you push the loop through the hole and then push the ends of the yarn through the loop okay. and pull it tight. I think, I think Miss Kelly has a pretty good picture of that on the Right, she does. Too. Yes. So one more time. Fold okay. it in half. Get a loop at the top. Put the loop through the hole. And then pull the ends through the little loop. Pull the ends through the little loop. And then just pull it. Yes. Ta-da! Cool. And then you have a beard. A beard. A beardsy. Okay. Now he's missing his nose, so let's give him a nose. Well, he'd probably enjoy that. Yes. I'm assuming the hat is over his eyes. That, well, I hope. Yes. I hope that's the case. Okay, so here are our glue dots, and we're gonna put, oop, put one glue dot in the middle over his beard. Try to get it in the middle. Okay. And then on goes the nose. Doop, doop. It's a cute Just little like nose. that. And then if you want to hang your charming gnome up, you'll need a hanger. So. Again, we're going to put the glue dot at the on the back side of his hat okay. at the top. Ta-da! And then stick the twine. So you make a loop with the twine. Yeah. Right? Stick Pull the ends out. of the twine into the glue dot, and then voila! Can I see how you did that on the back, Kate? Sure. Turn it around. Like right here? Is this what yes. You want? Okay. So you just put it right on the glue dot. Right on the glue dot. So don't have to tie a knot or anything. Nope. He's cool. Just like that. Let me make sure that that's how Miss Kelly did hers. Yeah, that's how she did nice hers. Nice and easy it and adorable. It is a charming and yet nice and easy and adorable craft. Okay. Ta da! Charming gnome it is. So, as usual, we looked up some books that had to do with gnomes. We didn't find any books for small people that had gnomes on the covers. So we looked these up and you can get these through Interlibrary Loan. Okay. There's I'm a Gnome by Jessica Peel 
Menning House. There's Gnomes by Will. I gotta look up his name. It's over here. You can see Will it Huggin, better. right? Will Huggin, thank you. And Fred Blunt wrote Gnome, and it has a little subtitle, which is The Little Fellow with Gnome Manners. Ah. Uh. I've seen that gnomes one by Mr. Huggins on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, that's kind of a classic one. These are very cute looking books. They are. I like the idea of the one with gnome manners. <laughs> I so, suspect they're fairly mischievous, those gnomes. Those gnomes, I tell you what. Okay, so that's it for our craft today. Uh, I hope you enjoy making your gnome. And thank you for watching. Try to stay very safe. And I will see you next time on If Kate can, can do it, you can do it, Crab. <laughs> All right. Bye.